welcome. This is the Silo Project, and this is the first stop on the 50 states, 50 weeks, 50 feasts, and we are in Key West, Florida. I brought a little piece of the Philippines with me with this traditional Philippine batik. It's woven by the southern regions of the Philippines that was close to Indonesia and they shared a lot of um, patterns and colors and that's how it influenced like our own culture as well. Key West really reminds me a lot of the Philippines. Just like even the flowers, the trees that grow, even the houses, like how the structures are made. And especially the ocean. Like I'm a coastal girl. I grew up like near the ocean. So this is actually a treat because this is like home. So this is where we're going to have the dinner on Friday for the first dinner in the 50 States Project here in Key West and it's sponsored by Coast Projects. They're a pop-up shop that features surfboard life and island life. Um, I'm gonna tell you about tonight's dinner. We're going to have fresh seafood that's been um, provided by Fish Busters, which is also a local um, seafood market there in Stock Island. The Fish Busters mobile app. Um, we're going to have Sinuglao, which is basically a marriage of Sinugba, which is um, anything that's been grilled, and I chose to grill um, some pork tenderloin, and then Kinilao, which is our version of ceviche, and instead of like limes, we're using coconut vinegar. This is local from Fish Busters. A little tuna heart. Yo, little tuna heart. I'm marinating the tuna for the ceviche, for the sinoglau. I layered um, onions, tomato that's on top of the tuna that has been cooking in coconut vinegar. So we're gonna have that as an appetizer and I'm using um, yellowtail tuna. And then after that, we're going to have stuffed grilled yellowtail snapper. And then after that, we're going to have halabos na hipon. Secret ingredient. Very Filipino. Which is shrimp in lime and sugar. And we're actually going to use the Florida pink shrimps, and which is very much local here in Key West. And then after that, we're going to have some bok choy and some eggplants. And then we're gonna have coconut flan for dessert. So normally we would have shrimps that have um, their heads on, but this time since in Key West, it's not like a, a, a normal thing for shrimps to have it. So we just made use of what they had. And also we normally grill tilapia because that is like what we have in the Philippines most of the time. And right now what they have local and in season are yellowtail um, snappers. And then for our ceviche, um, I used yellowtail tuna, but normally we use either um, a swordfish or a marlin of that sort back in the Philippines. And there were certain ingredients that I couldn't find and there were certain things like banana leaves, for example. Um, you would think that in Key West, you'd have tons of banana leaves available, but um, we improvised. We actually harvested, harvested some local <laughs> banana leaves from the neighbors. <laughs> and then we also harvested some different kind of um, palm leaves that we also use to cover the table and that we use to serve the food in. I'm also collaborating with my friend um, Mark Strayton. He's one of the local chefs here in Help Yourself Organic. Cheers. Oh, and this is the local chef that's collaborating with me. He's also a good, good friend from back home, Greenpoint. <coughs> Greenpoint. Green yeah. Also known as Cowboy Mark. Cowboy Mark. <laughs> Him and Leah have been very essential in making the Salo in Key West happen. The 
Solo Key West. So overall, this week in Key West has been pretty amazing. We haven't actually been here for an entire week, but it has been a very fun experience. We were able to bike around the island, go to like most of the tourist attractions, like the southernmost point, pass by the, the Ernest Hemingway house. We got to snorkel just in time before like a big hurricane came by. <laughs> we're gonna get a tornado! Tornado warning in Key West. Key West to tornado warning. Tomato warning. Tomato warning. Tomatoes! No! We experienced like a hurricane here in Key West too, so that was pretty good. So these colors are very quintessential Florida. I would say like the pink, the greens, and purples. And then we were able to tan out, take a little experience of the beach, and have a little fun before the work started. Key West was fun. This was a, an awesome kickoff, and we're very excited to go to South Carolina. We're actually going to be in Charleston, and the dinner is going to be in Sullivan's Island. Come follow the Salo Project at www.thesaloproject.com or in Facebook slash Salo Series. Um, on Instagram at Solo Series or hashtag Solo Series or hashtag The Solo Project. <laughs>